hello everyone in this example i'll be talking about the primary key in the database management system a primary key is the main key in the oracle table or mysql or any databases so let us see what is meant by primary key and when we are going to use this primary key so in order to understand these things i will take one example let us understand uh, let us assume that you are the part of any company so whenever you are joining any company on that time those company will take your data like your first name last name from where you have done your education and everything so in the background they have their own tables which is storing your data like your first name last name and everything but what about the employee id because whenever you are joining to the company they need to assign one employee id to you right so whenever they are giving you any employee id that should be a unique and that should not be a null null means it should not be a not null means it is like there should be some value it should not be a blank so the combination of unique key plus not null key we called it as a primary key so primary key is the combination of unique key plus not null key equals to primary key when you are the part of any company you will be assigning one employee id which will be always unique it will not be happen that the employee id which is assigned to you the same employee id will be assigned to another person and the next thing is not null means it will not be a blank it will never happen that you will not be get assigned for the employee id so whenever we are the part of any organization we will get one employee id that employee id will be always unique and it will not be a blank we called it as a primary key so they have one table which is called it as employee or it can be anything based on the organization structure so just to understand the things i have created one table with the name employee and this employee is having id name age address salary and primary key it has id on the time of creation of table only we can assign this primary key only again the next thing is let's say we have forgot to assign the primary key and we have created the table then also we can alter your table and we can add the primary key we call it as a constraint also so i hope this uh, concept is clear now primary key is a con connection of unique key and not null key so i have a database which is a 12c database uh, oracle 12c database so i will just create a table with the name employee i'm taking this table query and pasting it on the prompt here you can see the table has been created okay now if i want to check what are all the columns and their data type we can check like this desc and the table name here you can see the id is not null because it's a primary key and it's a unique key also because whenever i am trying to add the same employee id it will give me a thread uh, error so i will just uh, see this thing in a practical way the name is there age is there address and salary okay let's try to insert some record insert into table name is employee values because we are adding some values over here what is the id we will keep it as one the name is ankush age 26 address let's keep it as uh, amravati and now it is asking for salary okay so salary we will mention it as 10000 okay let's try to insert record here you can see the first record is inserted 
now I'm trying to select the data select star from employee so the first record has been inserted to the table employee now we are going to add new record to the same here I will just change the name as Sagar age it is as 27 he is from Nagpur and I am changing the salary it is as 20,000 but one thing which you can observe over here that I have mentioned the employee ID as first only and the previous employee ID is first now if I am trying to insert the record we are getting the error message which is showing as a unique constraint because we have assigned ID it as a primary key this is a primary key that we have assigned because of that only it is not allowing me to insert the record but if I am changing the employee ID as to we can see the record has been inserted so both the record are the part of employee table now this is all about the primary key and one more thing which I want to highlight over here that if I want to if I'm not mentioning anything over here and just putting the blank then also it will not allow me to add the record because it's a primary key so primary key is a combination of unique key and not null key it is mainly useful so that there will not be a duplicate data into the table so basically it is used to not to have a duplicate data to avoid the duplicate data okay thank you